sister, most welcome. Uh, yes, good sister. evening, Dr. Sagar Naik. Uh, I'm Marilyn. I'm a photographer. I just want to ask uh, why they said that the person who converted to Islam is better than a person who is born Muslim. Sisters ask the question, why do they say that the person who is converted to Islam is better than a person who is a born Muslim? Point number one, sister, converted is not the right word, the right word is revert. Because according to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad every human is born as a Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. Every human being when he is born, when a child is born, a prophet said, he submits his will to God. Later on he is influenced by his parents, by his elders, by his teachers, and then he does idol worship or fire worship, then he becomes a non-Muslim. That is the reason whenever a non-Muslim becomes the Muslim, the more appropriate word is revert rather than convert. So question is that why is the revert better than a person who is a born Muslim? Because when a person is a born Muslim and he grows up, he becomes an adult, maybe he may not be following Islam 100%. He may be doing wrong things, he may tell a lie, he may cheat sometimes, so he is not 100% pure. Now when a person accepts Islam, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that all his past sins are forgiven. So today if someone accepts Islam, his negative balance is zero. As though he's newborn. No sin. For a person who is a born Muslim, he may have done good deeds and bad deeds, but surely the bad deeds are yet there. Because the beloved Prophet said that no one can enter Jannah with his deeds except with the mercy of Allah. That means mercy of Allah is a must. Only on the good deeds you cannot. So based on this, when a, when a person accepts Islam, at that point, there is no negative balance. For a person who is born Muslim, surely he may have done, sometimes got angry, he may have scolded someone, he may have told a lie. So all these keeps on adding up. So that is the reason a person who accepts Islam at this point is better than a person who has been a Muslim for many years. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yeah, I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? No. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? You don't believe? No. So I request you that if you take my DVD, I request the organizers to give my DVD to you on Prophet Muhammad in the various world scriptures. Uh, which background you come from, sister? Which background do you come from? Uh, from Philippines. No, no. Are you a Christian? I'm a Christian. I'm Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic, ah, but, but you don't believe Jesus is God, correct? So that means you're not a Roman Catholic. <laughs> the Roman Catholics believe Jesus is God and they, and they make a statue of God. So that means you were a Roman Catholic. Correct? Yes. If you don't believe Jesus is God, that means you're not a Roman Catholic. Fine, so you believe there's one God? You believe Jesus is not God? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah, I do. So in the Bible I give references. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18 talks about Homo Salaam prophecy. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19 talks about Muhammad sallallahu In the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse number 12 says that the book shall be given to him who is not learned. And will be said, read. And he said, Ma'ana Bekari, I am not learned. Talking about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I said earlier that in the, gospel, in the song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned my name. And furthermore, I said in the New Testament, Gospel of John chapter 14 verse number 6, Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 26, Gospel of John chapter 16 verse number 7, as well as Gospel of John chapter 16 verse 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, Jesus Christ peace be upon him says, but he cannot bear them now, for he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth, he shall not speak of himself, all that he hear shall he speak. All these are prophecies of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So if you have read the Bible, why don't you believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. Who is this person Jesus Christ talking about, peace be upon him? Allah. Who? Allah. Allah. God. No, it says, God will send. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall be talking about a messenger to come. Who is this messenger Jesus is talking about, peace be upon him? Prophet Muhammad. So do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger? Yeah, I do. You do believe? Yeah. Masha, so you believe there is one God? Yeah, I do. You believe Jesus is not God? Yeah. And you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger? Yes. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Masha Allah. 
Is there anyone forcing you to say it? No. Doing out of your own free will. Yeah. So now you're convinced that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Yeah, I do. I say in Arabic and inshallah you can repeat it. Inshallah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God, there is no God but, Allah. but Allah and I bear witness, and I bear witness that, that Prophet, Muhammad Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger and servant of God. And servant of God. <coughs> MashaAllah, you have become Muslim and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He guide you more and give you the best in this world and the akhirah. Jazakallah sisters.